The year is 2318. The location, the sky-born metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded, the unified Earth government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member of this team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Protectorate, would be called upon to prevent a crisis that will threaten history itself. A crisis that could destroy not only the past, but also the future of humankind. This is the story of Earth's most timely hero. Hello everyone, this is Dave with Grand Let's Play, and we are going to start a new game on PC called The Journeyman Project Pegasus Prime. And yes, it is an old game, but that's okay, because old games are cool, they're awesome, some of the best around. And uh, this was actually one of my first uh, PC games that I ever played. Uh, not the first, but one of the first. And uh, I got a lot of fond memories of it. I actually paid the, uh, played the original Journeyman Project game, and then they did a remaster of it. And um, that's uh, you know that's what we're going to be doing here is the remastered version of it. So it's got a few other surprises in it that uh, weren't in the original game. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, we're going to start a new game here and see what uh, see what holds for us. What adventure awaits? sounds of WKIM too big in California. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Don't tell me you overslept. Whoa, you look awful. Did you have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway, this is just a friendly reminder that uh, you're supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws, and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Sabrolan delegate procession. Look, you always wanted to be the Lone Ranger. Now, get down here on time for a change, and I'll let you watch my op man when I come back. See you later. Wake up. Wake up! I don't want to wake up. I'm tired. Tell him I'm sick. Good morning, Agent 5. It seems that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Your monocle needs recalibration. Stand by. The energy level warning light is operational. The energy level counter is at 100%. 
scrolling through the inventory control panel. You currently have no inventory items. Scrolling through the biochip display panel. You have the AI biochip installed. Initiating self-diagnosis of onboard artificial intelligence. AI unit is fully operational. Agent 5, recommend you set an electrostatic shock reminder so this repeated morning recalibration routine does not continue. Uh, you saying I'm late? Well, yeah, I guess I am late, but whatever. Had a rough night. Anyway, so here we are, and apparently I didn't even sleep on my bed. Look at this, I, I think I'm on my chair. Agent 5, you are due for your shift at the Temporal Security Annex. Recommend departure soon. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll get around to it, I'll get around to it. Okay, um, let's see, what all we got around here? So my apartment, looks kinda nice. Yeah, see, there's my bedroom. I fell asleep on the couch. Interesting. Uh, I guess I better go to the bathroom here. Let's see. What we got? What is this thing? Oh, I can click on it. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Cool. Stand by for health checks. Your body fat today is 15%. Today's tip, cut back on the Chinese takeout. I like Chinese. Please choose a hairstyle. Ah, okay. Well, uh, let's see. Retro tra thrash? Retro that? thrash. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Oh, bummer. Okay. Uh, agency standard sounds so boring. How about GeoWave? Geo wave. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Ah, uh, fine. Agency standard. Okay. Let's see. I got anything I Agent can do five. Here? You are late for your scheduled shift I at know, the TSA. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Let's see. I know. But I gotta do some business first here, all right? The wait is over. At precisely 6 a.m. West Coast time, a Sorolan space vehicle entered Earth's atmosphere and landed on the lawn in front of Caldoria's Capitol building. Although the city square is being kept clear for the ceremony, crowds of onlookers have formed on the fringes eager to catch a glimpse of the Sorolan ambassador as he emerges from the spacecraft to shake hands with Dr. Castillo, symbolizing our acceptance into the symbiotry of peaceful beings and forever changing the course of human events. Stay tuned for more. Ah, interesting. Aliens have landed. <laughs> I guess we're done in here. But I can't help but think I've forgotten something. What is that flashing light over there? Let's check that out. It's a flashing light. What is this? The following is a special report from INN. Good morning, Caldoria. I'm Mark Johnson. INN has just been notified that the Symbiotry Ambassador ship landed moments ago and a fleet of Cyrolan ships has approached Earth and is now in geosynchronous orbit over Caldoria. Our reporter Megan Love is live on the scene at the Capitol building where the alien procession is scheduled to take place. Megan, can you describe what's going on down there? 
Thank you, Mark. There's a tremendous crowd on hand to witness this historic event, and the atmosphere can only be described as electric. As most of our watchers know, it was in 2308, just three years after the World Unification Accords held in Gorbistan, that Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they called the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. They told the world that the purpose of this alliance is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return and all along the streets the people of Keldoria are waiting for the gates to open so they can catch a glimpse of the Sirolan delegate from the Capitol lawn. We will keep you informed with up-to-the-minute reports about this historic event. For the Interactive News Network, I'm Megan Love. This has been a special report from INN. Ah. So this alien landing thing's a pretty big deal then, huh? What is this? Ooh, cool. You may change your audio and visual selections at any time. Let's try audio. What do we got? That's rock. That ain't rock. Acoustic? Ooh. Wow, that's nice. Nice acoustic guitar work there. Oh. The rest of the video, guys, is just going to be us listening to this music. Ah, I guess I got to go to work. Ah. <sighs> All right. I want one. I want one really bad for my room. I want to get one of those. Okay, now I can't help but feel there's something I've forgotten. Let's see. A wallet. Keys. Keys! I don't have my key. I need to get my card key. Let's see here. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What is this? Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. You have two messages. Alright, well let's listen to the first one. First message. Just Agent calling to say five. thanks for the time you last night. Really exceeded Sorry the I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me once. on your environment system. I'll call you later. Bye. My AI interrupted. Huh. All right, she says I'm Second running out of message. time. Good morning, Agent 5. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. You've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change. To relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. I'm off. I'm going, boss. I'm going. Okay. I gotta get my key, though. Gotta get my keys. All right. My card key. Not in there. Where is it? Ah. There it is. Because everybody needs their transport card. Alright, let's get out of here. Gotta head to work. I think that's the bathroom. Alright. Let's head out this way. Okay. Elevator. I don't own a 
alarm clock, so it's clearly not my First fault for being four. late. transport card now. with alien beings. Well, excuse me. I don't get to go meet the aliens. What about me? Welcome to Agent 5. Proceed to the command center. Uh, thank you, talking robot dudes. That is one big cappuccino machine. Let's see. Command center, this must be the place. for making it in there, right? Now I think I... Oops, whoops. Let's go back. Okay. So you finally decided to make it into work. And only 32 minutes late this time. Obviously you think TSA rules do not apply to you. Well, you are wrong. As of now, you're grounded. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center, and you can start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, which you've obviously forgotten. Aw, oh, man. Cleanup work. <sighs> Fine, gotta go through the operations review. Theory, let's hear with theory. <laughs> The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created, which originates when the travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, the theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave. 
it could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. As a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. One main caution exists. When time jumping, never allow the energy level that sustains the temporal link between yourself and the Pegasus device to be depleted. For integrity failure of this conduit will end any possibility of returning to the present. Okay, well, that sounds like sound advice. So, yeah, I'm a time cop, basically. I sit here watching my screens for any signs of any monkey business going on in the timeline. Uh, let's go to background. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter V1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian and full-time physicist Dr. Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel, now a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from potential sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Okay then, so we spent six billion dollars to build the time machine and then somebody said, you know, this may not be a good idea. So now we've got to hide the thing. That sounds like my phone going off, but I will ignore it. All right, uh, let's go to procedure. In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and retrieve your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from their storage containers. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. Next, enter the biosupport suit generator. The biosupport suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. After you're outfitted for travel and before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, return to the temporal security annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind and altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history further, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically significant objects from an environment. And above all, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. What is this? Is it happening? Dear God, it's finally happened. 
and with you of all people on duty, Gage. This is it. It all depends on you. Get to the ready room. Let's do it! Oh my gosh, it's happening! Let's do it! <laughs> One twelve. Hmm, start of temporal distortion wave, okay? Interesting. Alright then. We gotta get suited up. Let's see. What do I do? Guess I'm gonna go out this way. Alright, what'd she say again? Oh yeah, I gotta go to the ready room. Get ready! Alright. Go this way? Yeah. Somebody's fooling around with time! Mission biochips. Temporal rip emergency confirmed. Access authorized for Agent 5G Blackwood. Preparation complete for Mapping Biochip. Pegasus Biochip. Biochip and the Pegasus biochip. Very cool. Alright. Let's go over here. Yes. Let's see, turn this way. Temporal rip emergency confirmed. Initiating protocol. Access authorized for Agent 5 G Blackwood. Waxing tool went for my car. Oh, wait a minute, that's the journeyman key. Never mind. Okay, let's see here. Now we get to get on the suit. The suit, that's right, she said the suit was essential. Temporal rape emergency mission in progress. Pegasus access authorization confirmed for Agent 5G Blackwood. Prepare for biosuit encapsulation. Ultrasonic body type assessment. Mesomorphic. Infra scanning exact body dimensions. Nice. Please keep hands inside turbo lift. machine. I mean time machine. Let's see, ah, there's the door. Well guys, will we be able to save time as we know it and preserve history? Or will we utterly fail and embarrass myself on this let's play? You will have to tune in next time on for the part two of our let's play on the journeyman project. Hope you're enjoying this guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. It's Dave with Grand Let's Play, signing off. <laughs>